Well, it was a battle of the big guns at the MCG last night in rainy, rainy conditions. Of course, no crowd, but it was a match worthy of about 70 or 80,000. In the end, it was the Western Bulldogs who prevailed and this morning find themselves on the top of the ladder. They sure do. McRae keeps getting disposals. Daniel was terrific from halfback. We've spoken about Bontempelli. Oliver had a stack of it. Pickett, Brown and Fitch all kicked two. And Bruce and Norton, the big boys, kicked a couple each. But we welcome a man who's dominating at halfback, Taylor Geray to the Sunday footy show. Well done, Taylor, on the win last night. And you seem to handle the conditions a little bit better than Melbourne. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we sort of expected it to be a bit of a wet one. Um, tried to keep it keep it simple, especially at the start when it was raining. Um, but it actually did dry up a little bit and um, became a bit more of a traditional footy game. Um, but, yeah, we uh, handled the conditions well early and that sort of helped it set us up um, with a bit of a lead. Are you part of the defensive end? What were your thoughts when Alex Keith went down because it was very early in the yes. game and Josh Shackey comes in Shack. to play defensive unit? Uh, did you all get together and have a chat about it or was it just something where you get on with the game? Just something where you get on with the game. I think it was um, probably worked out well that we ended up going with an extra tall down back because, uh, um, you know, when Alex went down and um, at stages where Josh went into the ruck, we were sort of only really had one recognised tall so definitely stretched us a bit um which is why it was sort of a you know a super effort for our back line to hold up under under difficult circumstances and then we, we lost ed um richards as well so we sort of lost two defenders and uh you know we're one down with about quarter and a half of play so it was a really good effort by the boys taylor when melbourne beat you in round one uh christian petrarca straight after the game spoke about what they did you know, not only having one tackler not letting your outside runners get you, that they own the corridor, all those sorts of things. Was that discussed about what yep. they did to you last time and how you can't fall for that again? Yeah, look, they executed quite well against us. There's no doubt they brought the pressure. Um, but we felt we probably shot ourselves in the foot a little bit too with, uh, you know, some unforced errors. We I think we handed them five of their first six goals from just direct turnovers in our back 50 or back half. So... Um, no matter what style of footy you play, if you're going to do that, you're going to um, hand the team, uh, the opposition team, some uh, pretty easy balls. So uh, the conditions obviously meant we didn't try to bite off too much early, um, played a simple game, and our, our mid stepped up and sort of, I thought, won that inside battle as well. So combination of things and, you know, an adjustment from the last time we played, but really we, we just made sure we handled our things a little bit better. Cody Waitman's been a great in, I reckon. He just brings some energy and uh, we love these hangers that he takes. He kicks goals. <laughs> It'd be just a good one to have around the club, I reckon, Tate. Oh, he absolutely is. He, um, yeah, he's a freak, like you see there. He's got oh. some unbelievable athletic attributes. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, but I think every good side um, has those players that just bring the energy. They're a bit of a barometer for yeah. you. Yep. Um, we've got a pretty established sort of, of side now. Um, you know, some, the core group has been together for a fair while. And just to add in these, these younger guys that bring energy, bring something different, a um, bit of spark, it's, it's sort of invaluable, really. And we've got um, Riley Garcia up the front end as well, sort of does the same sort of thing for us. So um, just absolutely love the way he goes about it. Plays with a bit of freedom, which is sometimes a hard thing to do. Taylor, you talk about those young blokes providing a bit of a barometer. Now, you, you've... Uh had your fair degree of success when it comes to premierships. Two with Hawthorne, uh, Box Hill in the VFL. Has this group got a certain feel about it? I mean, is there a touch of deja vu here? <laughs> uh, look, I'd like to say yes, but um, we know it's not, not an easy feat to sort of get there and, and contend. But I think this, this group uh, has the core, core group of players got enough drive. I think we've just got a, a group that's sort of played together long enough now. Um, we haven't got to where we won in the past couple of years, particularly in finals. We haven't showed up um, with our best stuff. So I think we've built on the back of that. Plus, we're in a position now um, late in the season um, where, you know, we're pushing top four and looks like we're every chance to be there, whereas previous years we've sort of had to struggle to get our way in. So in a position of strength and we hope we can, um, you know, utilise well, our keeping a lid on at the it. moment yeah, and go deep. Nice. Keeping a lid on it, nice. Taylor. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Hawthorne way. <laughs> look, yeah, look, it's hard to compare different groups and I'm not going to go and compare against the Hawthorne side, obviously, but, you know, we're, we're a strong side this year and 
um, you know, we're doing all we can. And Taylor, what about specifically player-wise? I mean, you played with some all-time greats at, at Hawthorne, obviously. You're playing with an all-time great right now in Marcus Bontepelli, who again last night was extraordinary. Both uh, goals kicked at the start of the game, at the end of the game, and, and in between, 31 disposals in total. Brownlow medal seems to be going his way. Where do you put him with those guys you've played alongside at Hawthorne? Oh, he's, he's definitely top five player I've, I've played with. Um, oh, I don't know. It's so hard to compare because uh, he's just got probably a makeup that's unique um, to anyone I've ever played with. Uh, he's just got the ultimate mix of inside, outside. His, his size means he's um, very difficult to sort of play on. I just think the best thing about Bond is he's got that, you know, that follow me sort of factor jump on my back boys I'm going to take us to victory and I think there's only a handful of players that ever have that and um, mm. that's probably the most special thing about Bont is he honestly is just such a match winner and um, someone you can you can follow into into the heat of battle and you know he's going to pull through and uh, and do his best to get the team to win he's just he's phenomenal so absolutely absolute privilege to uh, play with him really. Taylor, your form's been so strong once again. The dogs made you wait until November last year for a contract, but I read during the week you're close. Is there a Sunday footy show exclusive that you could re reveal for oh. us? Have you, have you signed on with the dogs yet, or how close are we? Uh, the exclusive is I'm signed a five-year deal, a million a year, so hopefully, hopefully that's uh, enough exclusive for you. Um, yeah, look, in the, in the pipelines, uh, there'd be a little, little less... Uh, than what I just quoted, but um, <laughs> hopefully get that signed soon enough. Uh, I'm in no real rush with it. I've been in the system long enough, played under one and two year contracts, so I, I understand the deal. Um, yeah, I'm not phased by having it signed earlier rather than later, but obviously it's good to have things um, almost sorted now and uh, just mm. love playing for the club and hopefully. Um, you know, for many more years. You're playing good footy. I'm sure to take care of itself. Let's have a look at the votes. Marcus Bontempelli, clearly the best man Soraya. on the ground. Caleb Daniel from halfback was terrific. Even Leighton great. Oliver and also Bailey Smith, the most pressure acts at the Bulldogs last night in a wet game. Known there for Tay Tay. Good New South Wales boy here uh, we've got, by the way, uh, Tony. From, oh, he went to school in Corowa, but I think he's from a little country town out of Corowa, aren't you? No, so from from Corowa, yep. But uh, played for a little country town across the river called uh, Waganya. So that was my life. Oh, Waganya. Club, yeah. Waganya. That's yeah, uh, Waganya. good wines, I Waganya. think, around Waganya. Yeah, very good wines. Yeah. So, uh, oh. Winery, winery walkabout, if you're ever interested to come up here and yep. write yourself off for a weekend. Very <laughs> well, you don't need to tempt Billy for that. And uh, John Longmire territory too, Corowa. It is indeed. Uh, yep. The Callaway Golf Balls, so you can play at the Wagunya Golf Club, which I don't think there is. But uh, the, uh, the beautiful soft golf balls in the Odyssey Tower there. Also the Travis Matthew Caps, you get four of those. Uh, Tay for four different days of the week. The Aquila Shoes and Clothing, they've been great sponsors of the Sunday Footy Show for a long, long time. Beautiful shoes there. The Bar Fridge from Bar Fridges Australia, the best in the business. Just get on the internet and look up Bar Fridges Australia. The Rick's Eyewear, the code word is Chompers, of course. Yeah, you know, it's 20% nice. discount. It is. Rickseyewear.com.au. Old um, chubby at school. And the Platform 28 Water. will open on Wednesday. So make sure you get uh, into Platform 28 and AMFX, a nice custom-made fire pit to put out in the backyard there, Tay. You'll love that. Good on you, Tay. All right, thanks very much, mate. All the best for the rest of the season. Appreciate that. Thanks okay, for having thank me. Thank you.